guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, I'm Charlotte or Makeup by Charlotte and yeah, hi, how are we? Um, so in today's video, you well actually, let's, before that, you're probably wondering why I look like this. I mean I know I look rough most, most of the time at the beginning of my videos but I look extremely rough today. I've got some sort of thing on my lip which I don't know what that is but yeah. It's not a cold sore, I don't know what it is. Um, I've got greasy hair, I've got a towel wrapped around me and just yeah, I look like shit, don't I? Uh, so yeah, the reason why I look like shit is because I thought I would film this. Um, we, well, <laughs> when I say film this, I'm going to turn this hopefully dank, nasty, brassy, blonde hair um, that's Phoebe. <laughs> She's just fallen off. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm going to turn this gross brassy hair colour um, into a, well, I'm toning it to a grey. Especially with all the hairdressers that are shut at the moment, I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm trying this for the first time and this is the Bleach London Fade to Grey Charcoal Grey Toner. Um, I got recommended this um, by a friend of mine and yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go. It's been a very, very long time since I dyed my own hair. So mm, how that's going to go, I don't know. So yeah, let's have a look and see what's inside. Got a developing lotion. The colourant, so I'm guessing that goes into that from my previous experience of dyeing my hair. pair of gloves. I do have some downstairs, but... Let's see how these do. They're normally a bit crap, but we'll see. Um, a mask, a hair mask for afterwards. I will try that in the shower once I wash it off. And yeah, instructions. I need instructions. So, wash and towel dry hair. Well, <clears throat> I ain't washed it. I always thought that it was better to dye your hair when it was dirty. Or is that just me? Because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to the hairdressers, I'm like, I'm not washing my hair tonight, it's getting sorted tomorrow, they can deal with it. So I never do it, I'm lazy. We all know I'm a lazy mare. Uh, make sure you're wearing protective clothing. Towel. And have a watch or phone nearby, always, to process time. No, 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 no. So break the colourant tube, seal using the lid and unscrew. Add the entire tube to the colourant. Um, of colour into the de developing lotion, screw back lid on, shake well until they are fully mixed together. Okay, we will get that done now. So it's got like a little thingy on the end so you can just pop it in. I always find this bit so satisfying so I've done that. Take this off. One thing I will say, I'm only doing this because um, I have to really because of the hairdressers being shut. I know they're reopening soon, but thought I'd give it a go. And because it's um, it toner's toner is semi permanent. It's not permanent. It will wash out. Um, and I always get my hair toned by the hairdressers. I would never ever condone anybody who, or say condone, would never um, encourage people to dye their hair like bleach their hair from home. Um, Maybe brown and stuff, yeah, whatever, that's fine, but not bleach. Do not try and attempt to bleach your hair from home. I've been there, done it, worn the t-shirt, and my hair suffered for it. But then again, my hair suffered from it as well, going to the hairdressers. Bleaching your hair in general, guys, as you know, is bad. Ugh. I think that's all of it. How much? Do you know, I'm terrible. It's like, you know when you have your toothpaste and you're trying to get to the last bit? That's me. Oh, oh. A little bit's pooping out. That'll do. I hope. Okay, and then it says mix well. Ooh. Sort my towel out. I'm getting a little bit excited. How do you know when it's mixed well? I'll do it again in a second. I'm bored now. Uh, let's have a look at these beautiful gloves. They're just going to be those like really crappy, massive ones, you know. You know what I mean? Like, well, you, when I used to work at McDonald's, I don't know if I've told you that before, but 
I used to work at McDonald's in my teen years. We used to have these sorts of gloves to like, I don't know, do certain tasks. Like change the ice ice machine, or sort the ice machine out. Um, if you're handling certain things anyway. So we used to have these at work. Yeah, see what I mean, they're not. They're not the best and I've got really little hands so the fingers are like massive. Oh, <laughs> why do I always like stick my finger up at people? It's not in like swearing or anything. And the cat's fighting again. What are we surprised? Right, so it says application. Oh, I've got to discard the top of the nozzle as well. It says keep up, move, uh, doing it away from your face. Duh, doy. I say do it, it'd be me that I would have done that. Anyway, my little manual. Move her into a centre of parting. Sort of. Apply uh, directly to the hair, starting at the roots. Work the mixture down the length of the hair from the roots to the ends and massage thoroughly until all hair is covered. And then make a new part in and flip the already covered hair to one side, mix, apply the mixture same as, and then apply the process all over the head until hair is covered. Seems simple enough. I should really put one of my, oh, I don't know where my mirror's gone. I have a freestanding mirror somewhere. But my room, this room's still in a state of sorting out, oh, Look at this guy. My skin is not happy recently. I never ever suffer with bad skin. And then I start YouTube and then every time I film it looks like absolute crap. Would do, wouldn't it? You're probably just thinking, you're just talking absolute poo. So, let's see what I'm doing. Already spilling.
Right, I think I've got it all. I'm not, like I say, I'm not a professional. I'm very, I'm actually very bad with hair, so I'm really sorry to all the hairdressers who might be watching this and cringing and going, you should have just waited till the hairdresser's opened. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think it's all saturated now. Um, I did it in a stupid way, to be honest. I, what, I would, you would be better off with a comb just to get your sections right, but to be honest, I'm mainly focusing this on my ends because that's where the brassiness is. I've got um, a root stretch, so I'm not too bothered. Right, so it says I've got to leave it for 25 minutes, I think it said, um, and then I'll wash it off. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's wet and then I'll dry it and then we'll see. Be back soon. <laughs> 